ज्वा सुपर्णा तयुजा सखाया समानम वृक्षम परिशस्व जाते तयोरण्य पिपलम स्वादुत्ती नश्नन नन्यो अभिचाक शीती मुंडक उपनिषद फर्स्ट खंड देर आर टू कॉन्शियस एंटिटीज possessing divine qualities coeval companions embracing each other and residing in one and the same universal one one of them enjoys the fruits of his actions and the other looks on unaffected by the consequences the soul engrossed in worldly desires falls into grief through ignorance not having realized god but when he realizes the all mighty ruler of the universe and recognizes his greatness he is then emancipated from his grief when the seer perceives the beautiful presence of the self glorious being the maker and the ruler of the world the omnipresent being the origin of all knowledge he discarding all good and bad actions becomes free from all taint of matter and attains to the harmony of the soul these are few attributes of god mm-hmm. god has numberless attributes mm-hmm. anantaguna the all pervasiveness of god extends beyond all limitations the next expression declares that god as shukram meaning bright in the sense that god is the very light giving principle in our intelligence there you can bring in natatra suryo bhati na chandra tarakam from all of that that i go go to know those shlok mantra the expression scratchless without muscles clearless clear, clearly point out that god has no physical body mm. because physical body is susceptible to skin disease and all these things that is mm-hmm. what is meant by scratchless god is free from has no scar- uh, free from scratchless yes scratchless case skinless caseless god is telling me that with that meaning without muscles out that god has no physical body can come only on physical body mm-hmm. the word shuddham mm-hmm. means pure indicates that god has no causal body since he is untouched by sin causal body is a wooder and that the greatest sin of our real nature which in its turn creates all the animal passions in us which urging us to more and more in human how then geochemistry and all other branches of science are but gross deal only with an edible etc etc but god the universal spirit of nature is called sarvantaratma the inner self of all in the words of yajurved naina deva apnavan purva marshat minnapo on the transient senses and into the heavens and discover the locality of the universal spirit the ved tells us tad dure tad vantike tadantarasya sarvasya tadu sarvasya sevahyata yajurved for by motes and the physical senses discern him not is or exotic to all that is external is in the of matter obstructs the adjustment of the intelligible only by abstraction meditation mental quiet and jnana which alone are compatible with the realization of the divine the true influx of divine light come with expansion of the intellect and the increase of vitality only then so signs for the inner goal in fact the, the internal invisible is the real the is it be observed that by 
that the body is a form. The body is transient and changeable, but the internal is not changeable. The effect or the form is external. The mind is not body, is the reality, and that which is it acts on is visible and mortal. And all appearances foreign are composed of the same the intellect and not prayer that can love the divine reality. And that the most earnest prayer, the righteous vision that flows into the intellect from the fountain head of all wisdom. And that there is a true inner life and that man subjected to the interference of the commotions of the world cannot fully perceive and comprehend the universal truth. And from the inability to perceive this universal truth by the expanded intellect or by purified reason have sprung up the patent theological remedies of prayer doses and tearful brain relief. I was trying to prove that the original organizer of the universe is the invisible potent, the universal and the all-governing reality of this inner world. Now let us <coughs> investigate what is soul, that is God subject finished there. That is just brief, you know, you know how many things can come in there. And the soul, what is soul? Esha, he, drishta, sprashta, srota, ghrata, rasaita, manta, bodha, karta, vijnana, atma, purusha. The soul verily is the seer, the one who perceives. It is the soul that sees, hears, smells, tastes, thinks, understands. The soul is the doer. The soul is the intelligent self, the purusha. The soul is the real man. The soul is endowed with the property of circulating itself freely in the organism on account of its being a refined and subtle entity it is imperceptible by the senses. Therefore, its existence has to be inferred from the harmonious play displayed by such instrumental organs as the eyes, ears, etc. The organs are only the instruments. Like all other machinery require an agent to work them up as the nature of songs, colors, tastes, etc. is well admitted to be cognizable. The existence of a cognizing being is a natural inference. This cognizing being cannot be the body or the organs or the manas because they are not endowed with consciousness for they are the product of the composition of dead, inert, conscious elements of matter. Man is viewed in Sanskrit philosophy as a compound of three entities, the gross physical body, which is called stool sharira, the spiritual body called the manas. It is an organization of the life and uh, sensation principles. It is a fine, imperceptible, intermediate, connecting link between the gross material body and the third, the internal spirit, the true man, the central reality that acts, feels, enjoys, and is conscious. One of the consequences flowing from the organization of manas is that it is impossible for the soul to be cognizant of two impressions at the same time. The organ indicates the indriyas or the senses. The indriyas are the invisible organization of the spirit. They are distinct from the visible organs wherein these spiritual organs or powers reside. 
the voluntary or conscious functions of the soul are the functions called cognition, feeling and will, also called buddhi, or consciousness, feeling of pleasure, of pain, desire, repulsion, and conscious exertion. According to Nyaya Darshan, Chishtendriyarthasraya Shariram, meaning the solid framework of the body together with the visible organs located in it. It is the groundwork of all activity. It is the seat of all sense, senses and their sensations. The indriyas are the uh, fine subtle entities distinct from located in the five visible organs of senses respectively. By virtue of each of the five sensations, smell, taste, color, touch and sound, the indriyas are the invisible internal media of sensation for the perception of the soul. The soul cannot experience the external world without the senses. The soul cannot perform karma unless it assumes a body. The soul cannot reap the fruits of deeds unless it assumes a body of any kind. Hence, heaven is the body and hell also is the body. We have seen so far what body is, what indriyas and manas are. Barring atma, man consists of three substances Sharir, Indriya and Manas. Each of them is proved uh, to be unconscious or unfit to evolve consciousness for it is the product of the composition of dead, inert and altogether unconscious elements and atoms of um, prakriti. And all bodies that are the product of the composition of such particles are themselves are dead and inanimate. The whole world of organic chemical compounds including watches, steam engines, etc. is an illustration of the principle nor are the organic compounds an exception to this law. So long as organic bodies are associated with a living germ, their modifications remain very much modified and changed. But when deserted by the enlivening principles, even organic structure fails to show any signs of vitality and consciousness. All these facts lead to the inference of a central conscious being here called Atma. Atmana Vindate, the power comes from the Atma, the soul, immortality experience. When it assumes a physical body, the Atma reaps the fruits of its own. Therefore, the body has to be kept healthy. If the body is unhealthy and constant, do med no meditation. Hence, Patanjali says that in order to maintain a healthy mind, the body must be kept pure, holy, and healthy. Manu se adhir vidyati. Mind is purified by truth, knowledge is uh, and strict uh, devotion to duty elevates the soul by wisdom or the possession of ideas or by subjective experience. So we pray Asatoma Mrityurma Mritam Gamaya, O's teaching the truth from darkness to light of wisdom, from death, immortality, all that is elevating. Yoganganushthana Ashuddha Bhikshayam Jnana Deepter Avivekam gradually burns full. The light of knowledge in the soul goes on, continuous soul is emancipated. Manu Dahyante Dhyayamana Nam Driyana Pranasya Nigrahat just as a goldsmith, by blowing strongly, 
against a piece of impure gold remove sedation impurities by the increase of bodily strength and activity the intellect becomes so subtle that it can easily grasp the most abstruse and profound subjects it also and per- and perfect the reproductive in its turn produces self control girls as well as boys nayam atma pravachinen balahinen labhyo na cha pramadat tapaso vat chalingat lingat etai rupayair yatate yastu vidwans tasyaisha atma vishate brahmadhas nor by the indolent but the person who tries to find him out by proper means finally obtains him he say that um, the, the soul is free to act but it's not free to reap the fruit is not uh, cannot choose the consequences it cannot choose the consequences no so god is the dispenser yeah and that, and that translated to that what is so that you reap yeah mm-hmm. uh, what is what is truth truth means reality truth uh, uh, the rhythm you have rhythm mm-hmm. and have satyam mm-hmm. Well, satyam is something that uh, can is changeable right yeah but rhythm is unchangeable there is mm-hmm. eternal law mm-hmm. eternal law cannot change 